What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and you niggas gotta give Zero a break. He recently went on to Reddit and aired a ton of stuff out. We're gonna be reading through that post right now. So before I get into any talking, let's just get into this right now. So first of all, I wanna thank everyone who takes time out of their days to watch, share, and comment on my content. I write here to comment, oh excuse me, I'm, I'm right here to comment on the recent feedback that's happened in this subreddit over my videos, specifically my character analysis videos. And um, I hope to God all of you do to subscribe to Zero and watch those character breakdowns all the time. I think they're extremely informative, but there's some people that beg to differ. Now, to clarify, I always read what Redditors have to say. They read all the way down, even the comments buried down. Same thing here. Um, I do it because I want to take in all the comments and really see what's being said here about my content. I even made multiple threads where threads asking for feedback and following and follow what people have to say. I pay attention to what's said and I don't ignore it. Same here, man. A lot of people seem to think that, you know, people in positions where they have big YouTube channels and whatnot don't really read all their comments, but I definitely do. Zero here as well does. So, um, my channel is aimed at the newcomers in the scene. New players who know very little about the game's mechanics and have simple questions, like if the character they play is good or bad, why they should care about a certain character, or simply want a short and simple overview about somebody in the game. They have questions and are often shy or don't know where to ask. I offer content for them. They want a recognizable figure to answer their questions for credibility. For every 20 newcomers, there's one experienced player who understands what I'm saying in the video, so the content may not help that single person as much, but it did help other people. And Zero, I think that number might just be 30 to 1. There's so many more players that are inexperienced that don't really know the details of the game, or the finer mechanics of the game, or the tech in the game, as much as any other people do. Like, there's so many people. Don't underestimate that number, Zero. You're helping out way more people in terms of making things easier to digest, and more layman term, I suppose, than, you know, making things super, super technical and competitive. I mean, there's people that it would apply to, but there's a lot of people that don't know what the fuck's going on that do want to get into it entry level at some point. So, let me see here. My character analysis are not guides or breakdowns or anything that resembles that. It's basically my thoughts as a... As a Oh, wait, excuse me. Sorry about that. It's basically my thoughts about a character and answering questions I commonly see in my comments section. The purpose of the video isn't to teach you all, everything about the character, nor the depth behind it all. And I aim my videos to the audience in my YouTube channel. As obvious as it may sound, I, it's quite literally that. Now, my, my shit is off today. Um, I think it's probably because I'm nervous. I, I kind of get nervous when I fuck up and read it, man. And then it makes me more nervous and then I keep fucking up. Let me fucking relax. For some time, I took the feedback here to heart and actually changed my content completely. I started making way more character guides in around 20 to 30 minute videos, match up breakdowns, match analysis of top level play, mechanics, and way more. And I remember him doing this frequently, like maybe a few months ago. Um, I can do that content, and I know what it's about. However, my audience simply did not connect to this type of content. Checking the stats, people barely watched the video. Facts, let alone those who finished the video, were a minority. Not every single person has the base knowledge to get this content, let alone fully understand it or have the time to use the information correctly. I fucking agree with you 100%. It's such a commitment in a lot of ways. People weren't really watching the videos as much. People were asking some more questions and in general, it created a division. Some viewers wouldn't watch it because it was too complicated. Others did, but didn't really understand. And some few others understood and learned. When I make content that's simple and welcoming to new faces, everyone knows what's being taught and, I, and they can follow easily. I make the content short as well, since I understand that not everyone has time to watch long videos. I see people complain here all the time that my videos are simple, poor quality, among other things, but it's really interesting to see how the complaints here um, and on my other channel vary. People in the comments section will complain if the videos don't feel natural. They don't like much edit edition. You mean like editing or complicated bits? Um, people here enjoy well-timed edition and complicated bits. The difference is my audience in YouTube and the crowd I need to please... Um, wait, excuse me. My audience on YouTube are the crowd that I need to please since they are the people who follow my content and expect me to deliver every week like I do on time regardless of what happens in my life. And it's become a rough time lately. So why do I come here? Because a lot of people have been taking, excuse me, talking here about what I make. I simply come off to clarify the common points. I apologize if this comes off wrong to some, but I really wanted to address my point of view on this whole thing. Hope you all understand. Thank you for the continued support. Um, TLDR, yes, I read what is said. Yes, I know my content is pur purposefully simple because I want it to be welcoming to newcomers. Zero, holy shit, dude. 
I think you've hit a lot of points on the head here. So I'm going to start with what spoke to me the most. And, you know, I, I hate that I read your paragraph. And, of course, I think of a comparison to me. But um, that's the way I feel when I read that sentence in regards to how you compared the Reddit audience to your YouTube audience, dude. That was genius, in my opinion, because there is a key difference between Reddit and your YouTube base. Now, let me see. Let me see. Where was that part at? Where was that part at, man? Let me see. So the difference is that my audience on YouTube are the crowd that I need to please since they are the people that follow my content and expect me to deliver every week. People in my comment section will complain if the videos don't feel natural. They don't like much editing or complicated bits. People here enjoy well-timed editing and complicated bits. And that's a big difference, man. One thing you have to understand is that the people on Reddit are the enthusiast. Like, they're the, the well, well, I mean... No, they're, they're, they're the serious audience, like the, the serious enthusiasts. Like, is there a class above enthusiast? Definitely the people here take this a lot more hardcore than people would be on YouTube. And I'm glad that Zero realizes that there's a difference. The problem that I had with my own YouTube channel is that I would go to forums like 4chan and NeoGoth, places that I frequent on a regular basis. Um, as I told most of you dudes, my fucking channel started on 4chan. I've been lurking for fucking years now. I'm a regular user all the time. You know, not, I'm not just talking about the hentai board, man. The only problem is that on, on, a, on a forum like 4chan, or a public place like 4chan, Reddit, there are going to be people that are still exposed to your content, but their opinions are going to probably vary in, you know, how much they like or hate it due to the fact that they are not necessarily following you, per se. They don't really like the style that you have. Maybe they don't like the, the way you look or the way you sound if you don't know the information or something like that. That's just the way it's going to be, Zero. The people that follow you, they don't really care about the same nitty-pitty details that the people on these forums do. The people that follow you really just want to see you do what you do. And I'm glad that you were able to dis um, differentiate that because if you keep thinking that the audience on you know, Reddit is the same as your audience on YouTube, you're, you're going to drive yourself crazy because there's always going to be people that are unhappy with your stuff on Reddit. And it's always going to look like it's way more present than it actually is. One thing you also have to understand is that Reddit is a mass minority in terms of how many viewers you may actually have or how many people may actually keep up with you. Now, I'm not trying to say that Reddit's numbers are small by any means, but if you look at how many people are currently active on the Reddit thread, 542 smashers. And then we go to Zero's goddamn YouTube page and we look at how many viewers he gets on his videos on a regular basis and it, you know his videos rival mine in terms of how many views they get. Zero gets like what easily 60,000 views on a video. Do you think like, like how many of those users do you think go to Reddit on a regular basis? How many of them do you think are super big smash enthusiasts that play the games extremely competitive? I don't think so man and this is why I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you made that difference because you, you have to understand the audience that keeps up with you, they may not be the kind to be able to keep up with Smash in terms of like the most competitive cutting edge stuff and they, they probably don't want that. Like you said, your stuff is meant for an entry level audience and people that just kind of want to play the game for fun but see that you're a pro and are like, wow man, you know, this guy's a pro, I want to see what the pros do. But you know, you go too deep into what the pros do and then you start to make that kind of a division whereas the people that are there on a light level, they don't know what the fuck you're talking about and it doesn't seem appealing to them. You have to make these videos entertaining, man. There's a difference. Like, um, I remember a few like days ago, everyone, like there was like this 4chan thread and in the thread like there were a bunch of people talking shit about me while at the same time there were a bunch of people vouching for me and I was, I was looking at that thread saying, damn man, you know, like this is the fucking, like this is the website where I fucking originated from, man, you know. I'm all about this shit, and you know, these people are like shitting on me, man, it kind of hurts, but then I just realized, you know, of course it, there's going to be negative outcry at Reddit, or 4chan rather, in my example, because the people on 4chan, they, they, there's, like, here's the thing, right, the bigger you get, the more exposed you get, and therefore people see your content that wouldn't have if you were at 10,000 subs, I'm at 200,000 now, so my stuff is shown to a lot of people, because it's shown to a broader audience, of course, there's a lot of people that'll see it and be like, whoa, I like this. Let me let me subscribe. There will also be a lot of people that are ex that's exposed to and be like, you know what? I don't like this shit. I don't I don't know why this guy is so big in the first place. And then they'll air it out on 4chan, Reddit, etc. And the people that air out your content are already people that you don't care about in the first place. Because if they're not interested in you, then why give two shits? Obviously, they go out of their way to be overly negative in some scenarios. So that's the one thing that hurts. The fact that you're reading these comments and you think maybe sometimes these people, are they dedicated followers? Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. Most times, they aren't, actually. So, 
this understand that the people that have these criticisms of you they aren't people that probably naturally keep up with your content all the time because if they did keep up with your content all the time then their claims wouldn't just be that your videos suck but they would be like oh maybe you could improve in this field or that field but it wouldn't just be flaming you like that and I, I feel like this is something I have to remember myself as a content creator the more exposure you have the more the more negative attention can come around you know but you just have to remember who your loyal fan base is and who are the people that support you who they really are where they stand and recognize the difference between somebody who, who's been there for a while, who wants to see you succeed, and then somebody that just doesn't like you for some reason or another. You always remember that the people that support you are way bigger than the amount of people that don't in terms of you know exposure to your content. And I, I feel like as long as you keep that in your mind, you'll be okay, man. Like, I mean, I know the Reddit thread, I mean, excuse me, I know the Reddit um, board frequents a lot of people, but a lot of people who are casual players don't frequent Reddit. Like, I mean, I look at Reddit every now and then. I I'm somewhat of a consistent user. Like, um, like, I might use Reddit like two times a day, but that's not as much as some people that live on these boards, man. It's, it's simply not. So, and there's a lot of people that watch my videos that don't go to Reddit, that don't go to my Nintendo News or Nintendo Everything or Niche Gamer or Kotaku or any of these websites to look up this information because they're so light when it comes to the gaming stuff. This is why people like me, I guess, are popular on the internet. People like Zero are popular on the internet. We're people that look into this stuff and we seem like we have a good amount of information on our own. People want a middleman when it comes to this stuff a lot of times. I mean, of course, you can just go to the source. But most of you dudes that watch my videos, you don't need me. You can just go to Reddit yourself. Why the fuck? You, what, what, but, but you like watching it through me because you either like my personality and the fact that I'm able to compile the information in a very easy to digest manner. And because I make that information so easy to ingest rather than you looking through it all yourself, you trust me in terms of your information. You trust me in the way that you say, okay, Etika, I know for a fact that Etika is hype and that he's always going to have like some interesting information to showcase in a video or something that's going to be exciting or something that I may have an interest in. I trust him. Therefore, I'm not going to look too much into the information myself, maybe every now and then, but I know for a fact that he'll bring the cool information to me. And that's the same level of trust that you have with your viewers, Zero. Those guys trust you because obviously they see your reputation in Smash Brothers. They know you're a fucking pro. So they subscribe to you and they're like, I'm just going to sit here and wait for Zero's videos to come out on a regular basis. Even though they're, and, and they're light. They're not like these super heavy competitive people. They're, they're light users. But they just like the fact that you know what you're talking about and they want to keep up with you because you know what you're talking about. You're a cool dude as well too. So don't let these naysayers hurt you, man. I, I got to keep this in mind for myself as well too. Maybe my points weren't as concise and... You know, you know, maybe maybe I wasn't so clear in this video. I know I happen to have a tendency to talk a lot and ramble, but I think I got the main point across, man. So hopefully you take this to mind, Zero. I went through the same struggles myself, and it sucks to see people talking shit about you, especially when it's a crowd that you originated from, or a crowd that you support greatly, or some or a crowd that has an opinion that you respect in a lot of scenarios. But you just keep doing your thing. Because if you let them hurt you, if you let them like bring you down, then it's going to affect the quality of your content and the way you feel about it. And then you'll find yourself feeling discouraged next time you want to make a video about something because you're like, oh, what if, I, what if these people like you know hate on me or what if they don't like it or what if this video is not up to snuff or whatever? And when you start having those doubts, that's when you start fucking up. Like I, I, I had that scenario earlier in this video. I was reading through the article and then I made a couple of mistakes. I'm like, oh god, what if I get criticized for it in the comments? What if they rip me apart? And then, like, suddenly you saw the quality of my reading started going down. I mean, that's a basic example, but that, to me, is just a prime showcase of exactly how negative attention and stigma can hurt you in the long run when it comes to the quality of your content. As soon as I said, you know what, fuck it, I don't give a damn what these guys think. If they criticize me, they criticize me, so what? Suddenly you saw um, something as simple as me just reading through an article smoothly just, just do well. It, suddenly I started reading through it smoothly, no problem at all. So you gotta remember that the negative attention will fucking, <laughs> it'll, it'll hurt you if you let that shit stay in your brain. Remember at the end of the day that there's tens of thousands of niggas that love you. That they, 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 don't, they don't care what the fuck you post to be honest. They just wanna hear you talk about something cause you sound like, you look like, and you know what you're talking about. It's the same thing with my audience. They just want to see me post and upload stuff because they know for a fact that when Etika comes through, the hype is there. And I don't fake this shit. Like, I, I just, I simply don't. If you've met me in real life, you know for a fact this ain't a fucking act. 
And this is why people trust me with finding information for them as well too. They trust me to showcase information. They trust me to bring things to the forefront, to show things that deserve exposure, because they know for a fact that by now, Etika knows where the fun is. He knows where the hype is. That's what I'm about. And that same level of trust is with you and your viewers, Zero. In a different way, I guess. But I mean, that's the point of this whole thing. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.